everyone. I'm Ellen. You should all know me from your classes. Soon you'll also be hearing from Jason, who you should also be knowing from your classes at AI Tampa, that we're here in our loft to show you some pretty interesting stuff that we're going to hope to be able to bring to our mocap classes next quarter. That right now, you're seeing me with a whole bunch of stuff, but as we turn our camera, you're going to see me, and look at me! I'm in our oh-so-wonderful famous T-Pose, and I have a skeleton following my motion. Now, based off what we are using, we are using the Sony Connect. This is Sony Connect for the PC. It's not Sony. Is it in the Sony? No, it's All Microsoft. Right, it's Microsoft Connect for the PC. I'm really smart. That's so, cool. looking at our software, we have Connect. Jason's going to tell us about how it is working. So, we're using the Breckel uh, Connect um, software. Um, this is something that's free to download, and you can use the... Microsoft um, Connect for Windows, um, not the one for Xbox 360. Um, so if I come over here on the side, uh, we have some settings here. So I can change this visible light, which is currently making it so you can see Ellen in nice color, but we can change that to infrared, which will eventually give us a better view for seeing the skeletal rig that we will have. Um, Currently, we're not wearing proper clothes for motion capture, so um, you're going to get things like a broken rig from time to time. But um, uh, so then we can come back over to uh, some of the settings, and we're able to change from quads to points if we want. Um, but keep it on quads; you get better results, it seems. Um, and then we're able to change our depth, so I can go as far as showing more of the background of our whoops didn't click um, so I can cut away oops she disappeared um, and also the near plane so I can cut this direction so that's a pretty cool feature but what's even better is using this software we can then hop over to Motion Builder and see Ellen moving live in Motion Builder and we're able to record her motions. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's record her as she dances around. So, nothing to record. Okay, so we need to come down. Turn recording on. Turn recording on. And now come back up to the record button. I'm going to overwrite. You can Stay in your T pose there, and we're recording. So you can go ahead and move around. Now, as we've kind of noticed, it doesn't like it when you cross over for certain limbs. Again, this is based off that we don't have the proper clothing on, but as you can see, it gets a bit of a lag, and then it takes a little second to get the rig back to itself. Now, we can turn it around in 360 degrees, but again, if you look at the legs, they cross over a second because we don't have the proper materials. So there we go. I've stopped the recording, and now I'm able to turn off record and turn off live, and I can come back to the first frame, hit play, and we'll be able to see that Ellen's animation and movement is now on the rig. Pretty cool. Yeah, so we hope to perfect this. We hope to look at getting this software and seeing if it's capable to have it in a classroom setting. Because as you can see, my, our loft is pretty much a mess. We have cats walking in, the dog was walking in. So it doesn't need an enclosed space environment. We've got things that are reflective all over the place. That's not messing with the camera. So it has a lot of great abilities. So we're going to look into this a bit more and see if we can actually use it for classes. So, see you soon. Bye.